Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie and if you are new here, hello, welcome, I hope you'll consider subscribing and if you are back, welcome back. Today we're here with a belated sneak peek or a first look from Diamond Art Club. This is one of the new releases this past weekend and I think is still in stock as of the time of this filming. So I'm excited to get to share it with you guys today and if you were on the fence about getting it, maybe this will kind of tip you over to the side of like, yeah, you need to have this one. This is a really incredibly adorable uh, kit that's called the Love Potion. It's by the artist Miss Holly, and I believe that she is brand new to Diamond Art Club, and this is her first kit. I was just taking a look at her Instagram earlier, and she has some of the most adorable artwork. So I hope that this is just the first of many amazing pieces from this artist. So this particular kit is going to have round shaped diamonds. As far as the size goes, we're looking at 31 by 22 inches or 78.8 by 55.8 centimeters uh, round diamonds we have some pink branding here that diamond art club does on their round drill kits on the back of the box there's some information about how to diamond paint and then your kit contents written out for you on the side here there is a qr code you can scan for 10 percent off your purchase if you're brand new to diamond art club and thinking of making your very first purchase and you'd like to save 20 percent off i have a discount code you're welcome to use it's my name katie k-a-t-i-e and the number 20 and that is for 20 percent off your very first purchase like i said it is an affiliate code though so just full disclosure i may make a small commission should you choose to use that so do not feel obligated you're going to see a few different discount codes just in this video but thank you in advance if you do choose to use it i always super appreciate it and put it right back into my channel so anyway uh we have a toolkit here and diamond art clothes toolkits have not only everything that you need to do your diamond painting but also a couple of fun little bonus extras as well so let's take a quick look okay so of course first and foremost you're going to need a pen you're going to get a pen and squishy the color on these is going to vary you're gonna get some wax to diamond paint with. Don't forget that there is a thin plastic film on there you wanna peel off before you try to load up your pen. We've got a bag of baggies that you can store your leftover diamonds in or kit up into. We have some thin plastic multi-placers you can pop on the other end of your pen if you wanna try your hand at placing more than one diamond at a time. And then you've got a tray, and then this bit here is actually a tray stopper, and that'll help keep the diamonds from sliding out while you're working. This is a roll of washi tape. I have a video dedicated to showing you and demoing and explaining how I use washi tape, uh, which is just to say to go around the edge of the drill field to cover up any glue that goes past the edge of the drill field, just so no dust and dirt gets in in there. And then this is actually a cover minder. The style on this is gonna vary as will the style on the washi tape. There's magnets on the back and if you slide the one magnet off and put it under the area of the canvas you're working on, set the canvas down, peel back the plastic cover, set this part on the peeled back plastic cover, it will hold that in place for you and look really adorable. This is one of my favorites that I've seen of the, of the cover minders that have come with these toolkits before, so that's cute. You'll notice that this one did not come with a pair of tweezers. Diamond Art Club only includes tweezers with their kits that have square shaped diamonds. This kit has round shaped diamonds. We are gonna have a smaller sticker that's included here. I like to use this in my paper logbook once I've started working on a kit. I like that it has the name of the artist and the original artwork and some of the stats. Some people use this to help organize um, their kits, like put it on the side of the box, and I'm sure there's also something crafty you could find to do with it if you like as well. Everything else is gonna be included in this plastic bag or dust cover. Let's take a quick look. Gosh, every time. The softness of the backing on the canvases gets me every time. Okay, so this is a little bit bigger kit. Look at the adorable Corky. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. I love it so much. Look at all the fun details. So, 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 so cute. Okay, so we are gonna have our diamonds. We'll look at these more closely here in just a bit. Uh, we are going to have this pamphlet that has some helpful info in it. There's a thank you note from the founder on the front, some information about what's been included in your kit. Here is a QR code for a beginner video from Diamond Art Club. I also have one I'll have linked in the description box below. Here's a QR code for their Facebook group, the VIP Facebook group, once you've made your first purchase. It's a handy resource and fun community. Some step-by-step -step instructions written out for you some tips and tricks, yet another discount code. And then on the back is QR codes that'll take you to the mobile app, which is handy if you like push notifications and that sort of thing. 
You guys, this one, this kit has enough colors that it requires two sticker sheets. This is relatively recent, as in in the past, I think, six months to a year. Um, that Diamond Art Club has started having kits that had have above 67 colors. That used to be where they topped out. And now they have more and they just they just go into another sticker sheet. It's fine. But each of these sticker sheets, whether you get one or two, is gonna have the title of your artwork, The Love Potion by Miss Holly, a spot to write your start and end date, and a gorgeous, bigger, beautiful look at the original artwork. Look at all those fun details. Oh my goodness. And then we have diamond shape round and some more stats in the skew. And then over here, we have our color list. And the color code system you see over here comes from the DMC brand of Floss. That's the DMC color code system. Most diamond painting companies use this. And Diamond Art Club's numbering system, though, anything under the number 150 is going to be a special kind of diamond called an AB. We're going to have four of those in this kit. In addition, if you take a look at the end of the color list, which there's none here, but onto this page, sometimes you will see some uh, colors that have letters at the beginning, either a Z or an L, and this denotes another kind of special diamond. So I'm pretty sure these are gonna be fairy dust diamonds because we have the letter Z there. Now, each of these stickers, by the way, is it's a pre-cut label. So if you wanna take these and put them on however you're storing your diamonds for this project, where whether it's a storage container or baggies, um, that makes that kitting up process go really quickly. Now you might notice that when you unwrap, um, you kind of unroll your canvas, that sometimes it wants to curl in at the edges. That's completely normal. Diamond Art Club's canvases do have a self-flattening feature, so if you don't want to wait, um, <clears throat> or sorry, if you want to wait, it will lay flat on its own. <laughs> if you don't want to wait, the canvas material and the poured glue that Diamond Art Club has on their canvases are completely safe to roll backwards like this, and this will just help it lay fa flat faster. Alternatively, or additionally, you can peel back the plastic cover a little bit each direction and lay it back down, and that will help as well. So look at this adorable original artwork, or the, the rendered canvas. I'm gonna put a picture up on the screen for you guys here so you can see the whole thing in frame so it's not quite all in frame, and just appreciate how beautiful this piece is. It's so cute. Uh, at the top, we have some branding. Let's go on a little tour here. Do What Makes You Sparkle, Diamond Art Club. The edges of the canvas are scalloped and and finished so you're not gonna have to worry about any fraying the backing like i mentioned is super super soft and kind of plush to the touch and the material itself it has a really nice weight it's nice to work with and it lays flat and holds diamonds well diamond art club uses poured glue on their canvases that is very sticky and then we have a color list at the top left on your canvas and we have that same legend or color list over here at the bottom right at the bottom left, we've got a thumbnail of the original artwork and the information, including the size and the title, and then copyright Miss Holly and Diamond Art Club. What this means is that Diamond Art Club has legally licensed the artwork for this piece from the artist. And that means that this artist has both given permission for the use of their artwork and is being fairly compensated as well. Art theft is unfortunately common in the crafting world, so I'm always going to support companies and make sure to point out the companies that are doing right by artists. Here in the bottom in the middle we've got links to their socials a good way to stay up to date with their new releases and sales and whatnot another discount code and then at the bottom right is information about their lifetime warranty as long as you are the original owner and purchaser of your kit you're covered under that lifetime warranty which includes if you run out of diamonds if you have any trouble with the canvas or the glue or anything like that contact their customer service and they'll get you taken care of they have all the uh, warranty information um, I think in further detail on the website, but you can just contact them on Facebook Messenger or support it at diamondartclub.com, I believe, and they'll, uh, they'll get back to you. So we're just taking a look at the drill field. Look at our little corgi friend. Uh, so the printing is really clear. Diamond Art Club's canvases, the drill field here that we have for round diamonds, looks kind of like it would almost suit square diamonds as well. They don't have the really obvious guide circles. That's to really prevent any incorrect colors from showing around the drills if you don't place them perfectly. Pretty flowers in her hat. Um, but there are some really faint circles there that can help you if you're looking for it. So 
The printing looks good. We have a nice mix of color blocking and confetti. Color blocking is when we have, like here's an area that's a good example, here and here, um, areas that have the same symbol, and a, 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 quite a bit of the same symbol, a small area. I'll be able to use my multiplacer in here and have that color in my tray for longer. Uh, so those tend to go faster. We also, of course, have some areas with confetti. Let me show you a good example. Maybe, maybe down here in some of the potions, more color changes in a small area. The payoff with this though is that you get more detail. You'll just be doing mostly single placing and changing out the colors in your tray a bit more often. So I love it. This is adorable. So, 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 so adorable. Let's do a quick measurement on it for size. Usually Diamond Art Club's canvases run true to size, but I always like to double check just to see. So we're at um, almost 79 centimeters left to right and it's listed as 78.8. So, and then top to bottom we are at just shy of 56 centimeters and we're listed as 55.8. So I'm gonna call that true to size. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at our diamonds now. So we have our pack of diamonds and there is a sticker on here that matches the name of the piece. So if you store these separate from the canvas, outside the box they came in, they're easy enough to match up again later. All right. So here's our pretty color spread. Lots of ooh, pinks and purples and some darker, darker blues. Okay, let's take a look. So there is a loose pack right here. And you guys, this is actually, we'll just go ahead and start off with one of our special diamonds, Z3821. Now, if you take a look at these, these actually have a glittery coating on the top. Let's see. There we go, you can see it a little better there. And these are fairy dust diamonds. Fairy dust diamonds have what looks like almost a glittery mica powder brushed on the top. And they have a more subtle effect than some of the other special diamonds that Diamond Art Club carries. I love fairy dust diamonds. They just shimmer a little bit more than regular diamonds do, but they're not as in your face as ABs or Electro or Iridescent diamonds are. I do have a video dedicated to going through and demoing each of the different kinds of special diamonds that Diamond Art Club currently has that you're welcome to take a look at. It'll be linked in the description box below. I will be sure to take some time to show you where each of our special colors, special diamond colors are gonna go after we look at all of the, all of the diamonds. So here we have some larger bags of some of these colors, including several bags of 939, which is a dark blue, some pretty purples and blues. The DMC code is printed on each bag and they are roughly in order of weight as far as how they've been weighed out. Diamond Art Club does manufacture all of their diamonds in house, round and square. Hold that thought, you guys. Here we have our first AB diamond, 127. So if you take a look, these diamonds have a special iridescent coating on the top that is really, really, really sparkly, has a much more recognizable effect than the fairy dust diamonds do. And the areas these have been charted, it's really gonna highlight and draw your eye to and uh, just have a beautiful effect. So this is one of our, our AB diamonds. I think we had four. So yes, Diamond Art Club manufactures all their diamonds in house and their round diamonds are incredibly, incredibly sparkly. And they almost have a twinkle effect on the canvas. You'll notice it, especially with the darkest colors. They just sparkle and twinkle like crazy because they are so faceted. So lots of just various neutrals, kind of greens and blues and pinks in that strand. And then we've got, ooh, some pretty kind of purple mauve tones. Three bags of 3834. And then some nice kind of bolder tones. I love what I'm seeing of the colors and everything in this kit. Oh my gosh. So there must be several special drill colors in this strand, unless I just blew right past some of them. But here's our second, oh, here's our second and our third AB. 141 is this white AB, and 133 is this tangerine orange AB. Really small amounts of these. I wonder where that orange is going to be. We'll take a look. So there's ABs number two and three. And here's our fourth and final AB diamond, one, one, one. Nice kind of magenta. And then here is our second fairy dust color. Ooh, 
it's a pale mint. I love that. And that glitter effect on the top. It's so, 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 so pretty. For sure, fairy dust diamonds. Those are my favorite special diamond that Diamond Art Club does. And they're really unique. I haven't seen them, anything truly like them carried anywhere else. So, okay, two fairy dust colors, four ABs. Only the one AB color really had a big bag of it. The rest of those colors were pretty sparing as far as what we had. So let's take a look. Um, we do have, this is that pale pink AB. There's a sprinkle of it down here. And then let's see, oh my gosh. Um, we have some more of the pale pink AB kind of in the embers down here. And then, how should I do this? We'll go across the bottom. We have a little bit of the mint fairy dust diamond sprinkled in here and on the side of this potion bottle. And then this is that tangerine orange AB just sprinkled. Is it just bits of magic kind of sprinkled on the floor? Okay. So yeah, it's these little sprinkle. Yeah, okay, so it's the reflection through the window. Oh, I see what's going on. Okay, so yeah, you see how it's almost like there's a stained glass effect or something similar in the window? And the way the light's breaking through and glinting off the floor, that's where we have some of those, those special drills. Okay, I like it. I just was confused. I was like, what is that supposed to be? So I just, we go back to the original artwork when we find out. <laughs> so, okay, in, the, in these potion bottles, there's a nice mint color that's kind of through each of these, and that's the that pale mint fairy dust color. And then, are there any in this book? Not that I see. How about in the cauldron? Okay, so we have sprinkles, the white you're seeing, there's a few dots of it in the cauldron itself. And then the heart, all of the white that you're seeing is a white AB. And we have some of the pale pink AB right here, the corgi on the corgi snout and chest, we have the pale pink AB and in the center of the corgi's eye as well. And we have some pale pink ABs over here, I think it's the wax on these candles. And then there's little dots of the white AB and these little like bubbles coming off the cauldron. That's cute. And then let me see. I wonder if it's mostly in the window, which I'm, I'm going to last. Okay, up here, we have the magenta AB. There's just a tiny sprinkle of them and this little uh, piece sticking off of her hat. And then you guys, this window, oh, and over here, we have some of the, the magenta AB, just a few right in there, in the window. Okay, so this is where we're gonna find the yellow fairy dust. Here, I'll bring it up close so you guys can see. So the letter N is the yellow fairy dust. The number three is the tangerine orange AB. Uh, the number two is the pale pink AB, which was the one we had the most of. So this whole window is gonna shimmer and really look like that stained glass effect. The number one that you see right here is the magenta AB. And I think that's that's what's going on. So that window is, that's perfect. That's really, really pretty placement for those special drills because again, that's like those, those diamonds kind of have that stained glass sort of look. So that's going to look really, really pretty. You guys, I love this piece. I think this is a really, really adorable debut piece by the artist, Miss Holly with Diamond Art Club. This is so cute. And I feel like it's nice to have some options for kits with round diamonds at these larger sizes as well. Like this, because round, round drill kits tend to work up a bit faster than square drill kits do. So I like having this option. I'm really curious to see how this looks with round diamonds done. So um, you guys, this is the Love Potion by Miss Holly. It's 78.8 centimeters by 55.8 centimeters, has 69 colors, including two fairy dust colors, four AB colors, and has round diamonds and looks to be so incredibly adorable. I'm gonna link to this kit uh, down in the description box below so you can go take a look. 
If it is out of stock when you look, there may or may not be an option to get an email when it's back in stock. Uh, so feel free to sign up for those notifications if you wanna get your hands on it. This looks so cute and I think all these details are gonna look amazing once it's done. So you guys let me know what you think. Uh, like I said, this was a new release from this past weekend, so it is already available. This was just kind of a, a first look at it, if you, if you will. Uh, but Diamond Art Club, thanks for sending this over. And you guys, thank you so much for watching. Feel free to subscribe if you wanna stay up to date with my diamond painting content. I'd love to have you here. And I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Thanks for watching and I'll chat with you in the next one. Bye.